So, I've been researching cockroach birthing. Harry, I swear to god, I will end your life. Yeah, we're implementing cockroach birthing. Cue the intro. Howdy there fellas, welcome to the fifth devlog for the game where the goal is for me to finish and release this roguelike rat themed game to the public. Last week we implemented a mechanic which allows you to attach a frankly alarming amount of cockroach legs onto your body, and this week we are saying yes to more scope creep in addition to polishing up some additional things. As you saw from the intro, my good friend Harry decided to DM me one day on Facebook Messenger. The more I read those DMs, the more my retinas singed away in my eyeball sockets from the combination of Facebook Messenger's light mode and the string of words that accompanied those DMs. Disclaimer for squeamish people, I'm about to go into graphic detail about some of the process by which a cockroach reproduces. These will be animated with pixel art, but if you want to see how it really works, a Google search is your best friend and worst enemy here. Nature can be really gross sometimes. Believe it or not, much like chickens, lizards, and most other bugs, regular cockroaches lay eggs. Kind of. They release one massive egg called an utheka, which contains around 20 cockroach babies each. Imagine it, one solid brown unit, like a Trojan horse, containing 20 tiny cockroaches. Now at this point you're wondering two things. One, why am I being subjected to this information? Two, what on earth does this have to do with game development? Well, to answer those in no particular order, it's because this could prove to be a fun new weapon idea. And since I have to bear the burden of knowledge, you, the viewer, will do so too. I'm kidding, I'm truly sorry for anyone who actually googled this. Now, before I scar you forever, I needed to define my art style, because oh lord did my art need reworking. So, like a freshly lain Utheka, my brain hatched into many tiny cockroach shaped ideas for me to make my game truly beautiful to look at. The first thing I needed to do was create a color palette. I know Jack Diddley squat about color theory, but I knew that if I had a limited amount of colors to work with, instead of picking maybe 10 or so random colors on the color wheel every time I make a new sprite, it would promote a sense of consistency across the game. So I shamelessly followed half of this guy's YouTube tutorial, link in the description, and got myself these gorgeous colors. Voila! I redid the sprites for everything I made in the past month. I created this random rock texture along with the tile set for some walls using the tiling feature in A-Sprite. Very handy for making tile textures. Next, I needed to do lighting. So if I was to implement horrifying things like cockroach thicker birthing, I could close my eyes in game and never have to look at it or make it the brightest thing on screen because I hate humanity and I wish to inflict pain upon others. I'm joking again, that's only half true. Anyways, following lighting, I made a shader so I can apply an emission map to my textures. Now, I've never worked with shaders before in my life, and having gotten stuck trying to get the most basic of outline shaders working for three days straight, I never want to work with shaders again- ah, I mean shaders are cool, don't give up and follow your dreams. This along with some post processing truly made it feel like I was playing my game through a dirty lens on an old camera, very cinematic and hides the fact that I'm not a sprite artist. I spent a majority of the rest of the week tweaking the lighting and playing around with a bunch of art styles. Uh, there was even a phase where I tried out these very vivid white outlines for a paper aesthetic, but it was too jarring. Shout out to my discord server and the lovely people in it who provided me with tons of feedback. Finally, I added in some much needed animations. This made everything feel alive and very, very gross. So I decided to make it grosser by making the cockroaches move around like real cockroaches. Uh, here's one of the failed attempts in doing that. Uh, yeah, wish you could unsee that, huh? <sighs> Alright, it's time. Now that I've done everything art related, I am finally ready to add in... <sighs> cockroach birthing. 
And so I went about implementing this horrifying feature. First, I drew up and animated a cockroach Utheka, opening up and shattering upon impact. Code-wise, I began by building off of my existing ability system I coded up a few weeks ago. Because of the way I designed it, it was really easy to create a simple ranged attack that had a cooldown and does something when I press the mouse button. All I had to do at this point was implement projectiles, which are things that shoot off in a direction at constant velocity and do something when they collide with another thing. For this specific feature, this thing that my projectile would be doing when it collides is birthing five new friendly cockroaches that do your bidding for about five seconds and perish promptly afterwards. On the first iteration, friendly cockroaches were small and green, but that looked kind of stupid, so I did the objectively worse thing and made them completely indistinguishable from the enemy cockroaches. Terrible from a game design perspective, but it'll buy me some time until I draw up new sprites for these baby cockroaches. And time for the final showcase. And that's all I have for this week. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video and you want to see more weekly updates, and tune in next week for when I make this more into a roguelike by adding in rooms and bosses.